we're going, going, going on the go. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh I just God. love seeing you. This is this is great. Isn't this great? Oh, uh, well, hey, I'm just going to introduce them right now. <laughs> it's Donna Russo and Peggy Lane. Hi. <laughs> Yay. This is little Mickey O'Rourke, like Mickey oh. Rourke. He oh. got all excited with the cheering and he sat up. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Hello. I love when people bring their, their animals onto the show. Oh, are you too hot? Do you want to go down? You want to sit down? Hello. And you need some water. I've got to get a doggy. <laughs> hey, how are you all? Good. Good, good. Hang yeah, in there. Yeah, hang in there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I know. It's just, if it's not one thing. <laughs> Woo. Right, mm -hmm. right. Well, um, it's so nice that you guys like, you know, are quarantined together. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. It yeah. helps. It, it helps <laughs> to, to not, you know, be alone at a time like this. Yeah, it's very uh, nice to have somebody with you during this. Yeah, this period of look, it's let's say it's stressful. A little bit stressful. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I, a little, I, little bit, Dana. <laughs> Well, it's interesting because the year, the whole year before this all started, I was going several times a week to meditation with Rosie. Oh, um, wow. And so we sort of got prepared for it, but you can't be prepared for this. It's like, yeah, oh my no, God. No, 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 this is biblical stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, where, where did you both meet? Oh, yeah, you take it. <laughs> <laughs> We met, um, I was looking for a place to stay. And actually, um, my sister pointed out that in a, in a, in a site that there was another person uh, looking for a roommate. And so I had been trying and um, I, we, we contacted Peggy. And when we met, um, I knew some of the people that she knew in the business and we just that was warming you know it was like <laughs> oh wow this person knows people i know yeah. and um and it kind of prevents you you know it's like oh you know kathy i love kathy mm -hmm. you know so that yeah. helps and laura and and so i was looking for specific things um having a disability i needed to be uh, i needed to have underground parking because i can't do curbs yeah um yeah. i needed my own uh, i had that <laughs> I needed my own uh, bath bathroom and 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 room, and um, uh, there was that. Um, I needed a first floor. There was that, and uh, I needed like a, a a shower to get into. And um, when I first went in, that that was not there. Right. The shower to get in, and then, but Peggy said, well you can use my shower because I have a stall that you can just get in. And I was like, you know, with all these stipulations, this is going to be, this meets everything I, I really needed. And Don't forget she, the elevator. And the elevator. Yes, yes, I need an elevator. And um, it just fit everything. And she was looking. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's always hard to find somebody, but right. I, I found this apartment in Burbank. It's a dual master. And so each room has its own private bath. And I got it after my mom passed. I wanted my dad to come stay with me yeah. while I was working during the week. And I thought I'd bring him home on weekends. So I finally found a building that had a ramp out front, elevator. You would never have to take a single stair. Yeah. You know, I, he stayed in my room with the shower stall and all that. So I had everything. And when she came to look at it, she looked at the other room that used to be my office. Right. And I knew, I knew about the tub because my dad, you know, and she came out and I said, you know, if you need, if you can use my shower and stuff. And then, you know, she rolled in there to look at the shower, rolled out, pulled out the checkbook, David, pulled out the checkbook. <laughs> Bam. And, <laughs> and from, <no. laughs> and then, then Donna on the go just we go. happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love about your show? Hmm. Which was so great. I was, I was like, I, 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 I was like binging it this morning and last night, and, oh, and nice. I still have more to to see. Which uh -huh. excites me. I love when you're like, hmm. 
you're watching something, it's like there's still more to see. You right, know? right. Something okay. to look forward to. Oh my God. I mean, I love how each show is a different like genre even. It's oh, one's, one's a serious, beautiful dance piece. One one's, yeah. is a comedy judge piece. And every mm -hmm. one of them have um, something, something, a lesson to learn. Oh, you know? thanks. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. That warms our heart. And Peggy, yeah. she writes, she writes and films and directs and produces and just, I mean, just has given me the outlet to be creative and because right. I, I love to dance and I've been a dance major at Mercyhurst University. So to, to continue being creative with her and, and that I have this outlet because of her and meeting all these wonderful people, it just, it just, it worked beyond wow. my thoughts. It you know? But you, you probably know this, David. Um, I used to work on Will and Grace. Yes. For years, I, I stood in for Megan Mullally, and I saw on that show how you can teach people to care about people that they didn't know they cared about. You know, because we had a camera crew that we traveled with from show to show, and when we got on Will and Grace, Ellen's show had sort of, you know, it was successful with the coming out episode on season five, the ratings dropped and everything, so there was this network belief that this wouldn't sell. Right. you know and then we wound up on this gay show and some of the camera guys weren't all that thrilled <laughs> right you know and not just why camera weren't they, no wait why weren't they thrilled well some of the crew guys didn't think that this this gay thing would sell and it wouldn't be a successful show and you know we're only going to work for a few months and we'll all be out of work and all that and by the fourth episode we were shooting them before they aired we did a halloween episode with like starsky and hutch right where Jack met, you know, and then, then it didn't work out. You know, they fell in love instantly and then it didn't work out. And then I heard the crew guys going, oh, and I thought they did it. They did it. They found a way. <laughs> they found a way. And that's what I'm trying to do with this show is because there's, there's people with disabilities that you don't know anything about. But if you can make people care and show, show empathy, that maybe maybe you learn like that. You learn more with laughter, I think, than you do with a speech, like like the one I just made. <laughs> no, no, I mean, but that, yes, I completely agree. And you really, you know, it, it, to, to watch your show, again, it just, it has those different levels. I was telling a friend on one of the other shows uh, about, I love stuff with levels, yeah. like, a, like a good soundtrack. By the way, who wrote your, who wrote your theme song? Okay, <laughs> it's actually on the iTunes uh, on iMovie. They they have songs in there, and it's just it's called Simple. It's just one of them, and I played a whole bunch of things. And I thought that's the tone. That's the tone I want. It fit perfect. I thought Thank someone you. wrote it for you. Thank you. No, I wish. I wish. <laughs> well, that's how because I read somewhere that you had like a real low budget, and that's how you can get yeah. something like that. Exactly. Exactly. And, I mean, and on an iPhone iPhone 8. <laughs> <laughs> Done on the go iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the publicist too. Yeah. <laughs> She's what, do you, what do you like more? Acting, producing, publicizing? Oh, for me, I, I love directing and writing and producing far more than acting. Yeah. Why? I mean, it, it, when I was back on Seinfeld, I would see certain actors have ideas that weren't that didn't fit the the view of the show and i i realized that you're as an actor you're a hired hand yeah sometimes an extremely well-paid hired hand but you're still a hired hand you know that's very funny dear you know <laughs> whatever and i thought that's so frustrating you know and i'd look around and i think what's the hardest job here you know right. then you'd see like the showrunner who hadn't slept in 80 days that's the job i want right there <laughs> you know um, artist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, and Donna, I, what did we meet around like 20 years ago or something? Oh my God. Oh yes. First of all, I have <laughs> to tell you, David, I am so, so thankful for you, for your classes. And I just love training with you. And I want to tell you, you got me through a really, really difficult time. I was going through a divorce and, and, and just all the emotion. 
And I remember you saying, you know, like, put it in the work. Mm. That's it. Get it all out there. Um, take what you're feeling, use it. And I just really, really learned a lot from you. Wow. And I thank you. And um, thank you. you teach me and coaches me too. And through all this episodes that we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, boy, am I thankful for my, for my, um, your team. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. She says this. She exactly. says this about you when you're not here too. Oh. So, you know, this oh. isn't just for the show. I've heard this before. <laughs> no, I just do. I just do my thing, and I just. I'm a people person, and I love. You know, I love connecting, and and. You know, having my extended family, our extended family, grow. So, um, yeah. You know, and I was looking, I was looking, Donna, on, on, you know, I was researching for, for the interview, and I was, look, you were in the national tour of Alvin and the Chipmunks? Yes, yes, I played Alvin, I played Alvin! <laughs> yeah, I think size and dancing background had a lot to do with that, but. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> I, you know, when I read that, I said, because I have an album collection, yes? Ah, and as do I, as do I. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Power to the chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's incredible! Final! Wow! That great. Nice. So I, there's yeah. a funny story about that. I always wanted to be a ballet dancer. Okay. Right. And um, the dress rehearsal. I actually put, my body was my own. It had fur on it, you know, <laughs> but it, I can move around a lot, but I actually put this head on, yeah. the, the seven, the, the chipmunk head, which was, you had to learn how to turn in that and, you know, and everything. And I cried and I actually, I actually said, cause I kept thinking to myself, I'm not supposed to do this. <laughs> I'm a ballet dancer. I was ballet trained, you know, I just, this is not me. This is and then I just said to them, please take this off. Take this off. I can't, I can't do this. Right. But, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> then I took it and I, I um, took a few breaths and I put it back on. I said, I'm fine now. And I went back on and continued. <laughs> and I thought to myself, you know what? A pirouette is a pirouette <laughs> is a pirouette. <laughs> no matter what you're doing and what you're in. <laughs> And who you're portraying, and I did a lot of character roles because, hey, I'm four foot five. So, um, and a pirouette is a pirouette. A pirouette. I, I, <laughs> I trained myself with this head on to do three <laughs> turns in my entrance to come out. Yeah. Wow. And um, I was proud, and I'm, I was happy. And the irony too is you probably made more in the fur costume than you might have as a proper ballerina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> great story yeah everything happens for a reason you yeah, know yeah. i was i my sister looked on the site and right. said hey look at this girl she's looking for a roommate i met peggy and <laughs> peggy and i worked together and she four years four created the show and everything and um i met some wonderful people through her right. just some outstanding people and uh, Tam Warner, our choreographer, uh, Vince Dedrick Jr., our stunt, legendary stunt man, all of the um, stunt people that he knows. Oh, God. Yeah, Vince, is, Vince is crazy. On and Vince on. Is, he is stunt people, right? Right. Vince Dedrick Jr. used to double, he's doubled Harrison Ford and Jeff Bridges. Yeah. Going way back to Romancing the Stone, there's an 80 foot fall off a waterfall. I and remember, my, yeah, 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 my, yeah. People know this. It's he won awards for it. That's him. That's who I got to work with. Doubling mm -hmm. Michael Douglas, you know, all the way up into the end where he lands between Kathleen Turner's legs, which apparently Michael Douglas wanted to do. Point of it. So, but he did that, and he won awards for that. He's second generation stuntman. I met him on a show that I was working on called Henry Danger, and uh, he he came on board and. And he comes up with these, the runaway wheelchair and the ninjas. And like, he'll call me and he, he tells me his idea. You know, it's like, okay, we're going to, we're going to get Donna in a wheelchair and we're going to send her down a ramp. 
Like, I'm just uh -huh. saying that. Uh -huh. And then, then, you know, I'm going to have a guy with a hose and then uh, like a leaf blow and then she'll, you know, she'll roll down the street. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, then she'll grab on the back of this and we'll go on in here. Oh, we'll and all you're thinking is, how am I going to insure this? What the hell? You know? Right, right. And it all works out. He gets his people. You know, he's got people that, you know, he's worked with for years and stuff. And the action factories out here in the street putting down ramps. And it's like, it, whoo! What you did was, I mean, you got, you got, it's great to hear all the people that you got to come on board to the show. And then you've got, what is it? Kate Linder? Yes. Young yeah. and Restless to come on? Yes. Yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> uh, we <Peggy>. served <laughs> on, uh, well, we're both on members of the SAG after local board. Right. And then we were on a negotiating committee. Uh, I probably shouldn't say what contract, but whatever. And we had a lot of downtime in there. You know, oh. you give your ideas and then you sit there and you talk and oh my God. Oh my God, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh. Oh, surprise, my surprise, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Oh You're God. magic. You're no, magic. No, 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 no. That's fantastic. Hi, Mary. David, you are awesome. <laughs> well done. And you just made me appear. You're you're a magician. You <laughs> are. I am. Oh, hi. Kate, Kate, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> That's fantastic. Love you. Thank you, David. David thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Everyone. Thank you. For including me. Oh my God! I mean, young and restless from 1973 to 2020. Esther Valley. Well, that, well, that's how long the show's been on. I've been on since <laughs> '82, '82, so 38 years. Over yeah. 2,000 episodes. Well, I, I I don't know how many episodes uh, I've been on for 38 years. 38 and counting. That's that's what we're doing here. How how yeah. uh, how is it to be on a how does it feel to be on a long running show? Well, um, it's it's amazing, especially because I uh, was only supposed to be on for one day. That's all I was hired for, and um, so it, it's I, it's just in, incredible to me, and um, that that here I am, you know, thirty eight years later, it makes me. And extremely happy. I'm very proud of our show. You know, very, very proud of it. So, you know. Well, I, I tell you, how did you get connected with these wonderful women? Well, and wonderful. They're amazing, mm -hmm. talented, and you uh -huh. are so right, David. They are uh, incredible. Um, and I think Peggy started to say, you know, how we met. And, mm -hmm. um, and, um, I, I I really admire her, and I really admire Donna. Um, I think they are they are incredible, and they don't give up, which is uh, really an important thing to realize, and and that speaks a lot to me, and it speaks a lot to what is going on everywhere right now. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's just to not give up and and to, and to keep going, and so. Um, you know, I said, well, gee, I, I want to be part of this if I can. And um, I, because I, I do give back a lot, I'm celebrity spokesperson for the ALS Association and do, I do three charity teas in uh, Canada year, do a lot for mission, the LA mission. And I just try to give back as much as I can. So I thought this would be a way to be able to give back in this community as well. And you just see what's going on here. If we all just gave back a little mm -hmm. bit, none of this, none of this would have, would have been happening what's going on. So that's, we just have to keep doing that. Yeah. You know, the way I look at it too, and I've, I've said this before and I'll say to Ben, again, we're all on this little blue marble together. Uh, uh -huh. And especially in Hollywood. I mean, when I first started my classes, I just taught for the media access office which were performers with disabilities. And then I, I, I went to a, a casting um, a session where they were doing eight scenes and it was only actors with disabilities. I said, we're in Hollywood. All actors should be working together. And that's when I finally did Meet the Biz. That's great. See, see how smart you are and, yeah. and, and brilliant. And, it, and, it, and it, it takes all of this. 
you know, this is not easy. None of it is easy. Yeah. And you have to work really hard. It, it just always shocks me when people think, oh, I'll, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go and I'm going and, to, and, and I'm going to become an actor. I, you know, okay, well, good. That's really great. You know, but, um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, I keep, still keep going to class. I'm still go to my classes and uh, acting, dancing, singing, and then I have to hang around all these two incredibly talented people so that I can learn more from them as well. It's just, it's just it's all an everyday, you know, learning experience. For and it, be, it becomes a family, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely, it does. And, and uh, it, it's, it's a give, it, give and take and um, everybody's giving back and, and trying as hard as they can. And that's how you get things done. And, and you sometimes, you know, you can have a bad day. We all have those, right? right. And so um, I do that too. And then I just have to say to myself the next day, okay, you've had your one bad day <laughs> this week. So now you just have to pick yourself up and, and start over again. And that's what we have to keep doing. Right. And, and, and you just look at what everyone has accomplished. Look what Donna accomplishes every day. I, I am in complete awe of her of what she does and she just you know me. pardon i have a lot of strong people like you like peggy like you know behind me yeah but it's your heart yes but you but and 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 yes and that is not to put you know peggy as i've said is is one one amazing person and i'm so grateful i'm grateful that you have her behind you too because uh she she is really very very special so and a lot of people don't have a Peggy. In fact, most people don't because there's only one of them, right? <laughs> there's only one Peggy. Only one Peggy. <laughs> I'm working on it though. I'm working on it. <laughs> Gonna clone yourself. That's the next. Oh, that's the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are are is there gonna be another season coming up? Oh yeah, yeah. Once we get this thing straightened out, we know. You know, yeah. I know what my responsibilities are as, as a producer to keep everybody safe and everything. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. I, um, our makeup artist Michael Johnston uh, pitched an idea the other day, and it's a really good idea. And he's like, "Let's get going." I'm like, "Well, you know, uh, like, right. I can't really just do this right now." <laughs> you know? I know, it's really hard when you have, you know, Peggy has a lot to think about with everyone on set. You know how this set. All of this that's going on today. It's yeah, I mean, you got you want to keep everybody safe, and I mean, of course, this is we're. I mean, when I say we're low budget, we you know, there's micro, micro, <laughs> micro, like you know what I mean. Kate knows. And, um, the actors are deferred pay with you know SAG after contracts, so you know you really you know you got to make sure they're taken care of. Well, especially at this time. I mean, uh, today was the first time in like three weeks that I went out because I had to go to the dentist, which I was scared. Oh, can I say shit list? I was like, I'm going out into the world, you know, you yeah, have right? gloves yeah. and your mask and oh. <laughs> but you're right, but that's good, David. You And everyone's forgetting, Yeah. you know, because they're opening it up and everyone's forgetting that the virus is still there. And yeah. so you have to wear your mask and you, you have to, you have to be careful and social distancing, stay away from people. And because otherwise, you know, yeah. I, you know, so yeah. we have to be extremely, extremely careful. It hasn't gone away, unfortunately. No, you know? no, it hasn't. And it's, uh, I, um, what, Peggy, what mm -hmm. are the steps that you took to create this show? Oh, wow. Uh, here's the target story, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> we were shopping in Target one day oh, yeah. and you know Donna's little and she got in one of those little carts the little scooter carts right. it was it was funny she couldn't move it it's she's so little that her she didn't sit all the way back so the scooter didn't like register her weight so she's like, oh, 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 and she's backing up and crashing into things but it was funny and we were laughing we were like crying laughing because it was so funny and I filmed it a little on my iPhone <laughs> I have, oh, I'm laughing because I do this at Costco with my mom. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Well, you got a show. You got a show, David. Yeah. <laughs> so I came yeah, home. Maybe a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful there. <laughs> so I came home and I just put it together just kind of to make her laugh. You know, and I looked at it and I went, 
but wait a second, we're actually kind of making a point how hard it is for people because you're in this scooter, but what you want is way up there and you can't get it. And what do you knock this into that and hope it comes down? And, and, and I thought, well, maybe we have something. And then Vince Dedrick came up with the runaway wheelchair, and that was like episode we were off and running, <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. But you said something at the end that I put on the tag of the runaway wheelchair because I was worried that it might not be funny or it'd be funny for the wrong reasons. Yes. The runaway wheelchair. You don't want to genuinely be scared. Yeah. You know, if she's in control. Like, so we added some dialogue uh, in post uh, and just her say it, like post, like I got big post, right? I think, yeah, I just edited in my movie <laughs> of her saying, oh, not again. Did you take the break off again? We've talked about this. So if she was fearless, we knew that she wouldn't be hurt. Well, that's so interesting because when I saw that, I, I said, this is hysterically funny, but I'm also worried about her. So it yeah. had that blend yeah. to it. Right. It was great. Right, I was really concerned about that. So at the end, um, she had said something like, when life throws you a curve, just roll with it. And I thought maybe that will be the line that makes it okay. Right. You know, but that's, that's your philosophy with, with a, lot of, a lot of things. Things I go off on politically, she hears me all day and all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, roll with it. <laughs> I, I saw that. I saw that after that quote that you put. Just say, I want you, I want to hear you say that quote, just because, you know, I read it and said Donna Russo. It's yeah. sort of like when Jerry Jewell did her book, they almost didn't let her do it. Oh. And it's like, but it's her autobiography. You want to hear her voice. Right, right, right. Hit when, it. When life throws you a curve, roll with it. There you go. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Mm hmm so uh it goes up it goes down oh, it goes yeah. up it goes down what else can you i mean what else can you do hopefully you have some <laughs>, laughs along the way if you can find some right and even before the world got as crazy as it is right now what i wanted to do was just a very lighthearted show that could teach people empathy but still make people laugh yeah you know because you you just need that i mean when i work on sitcoms i go to work every day <laughs> and you get to laugh Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just during 9-11, we were on Will and Grace. The world was falling down around us. Mm -hmm. And we were on this little multi-purpose room rehearsing and laughing still. You know, and you think how healing that is for people. Yeah. So that's, that's the overall tone that I'm shooting for. I, I you know, you well, hope, you, hope you hit it, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, again, I heard my mom's voice say, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, the thing is, it, it is so true. I mean, even in the Mama episode, um, mm -hmm. where you're all there together, there it, it's funny, and yes, it teaches, and ultimately, it, it will open the door to where people won't think about this so much, where it's just, hey, we're all one big family. Right. I, I was, I'm so proud of that episode. I, I, I wrote that thing for like, and I had like 12 roles for actors with disabilities, right. and we couldn't cast it. I couldn't get, because you know, everything happens so quickly when you have no money. And it's like, so I have the location, who's available. Um, we we were, were making phone calls 24 hours, the night before, we were making phone calls. And I was like, I can't be the only disabled actor. The Sarah. whole point was that you everybody know? had in the we're beginning. trying to get everyone there. It's like, Eileen, can you make it? Tobias, can you make it? Right. You know, it was so hard. And I literally. We and I'm furiously fun. rewriting the script now. Well, he, you can have these lines, and you can have these lines, and then we got Eileen Gruba, and I'm like, oh my god, thing. Okay, well, I'll give her some Madonna's lines, and then you know, or up to the last minute, Eddie. and it was. I was. I so wanted it to be even bigger. Yeah. You even know? more, but but I I'm. We had five people, you know, actors with disabilities, or whatever. I'm very very proud of that. And, you know, we had Kate and Kim Estes, and they, they wore their little ABBA costumes. <laughs> oh I love that, too. I, just so. I, I love that. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. great. You were great. That I was so ideas. funny. I didn't know if I could make it. So the very morning, the yep. morning of, I'm down at, like, a rental place down the street in Glendale getting, like, the fog machines and thinking. And we're purchasing costume, okay? Right. What, with that morning? Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh I'm judge. sorry. That was Judge. Wrong episode. I'm sorry. That wrong was episode. Oh, I get okay. <laughs> that was Judge. Well, that was a good one too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
that was a thing. <laughs> I love it. It's very, very exciting. Very exciting. To so listen. what, so the two of you, Kate and Donna, you, you play family members, yes? Yes. Oh, and I'm so honored to have Kate. I'm just, I just, uh -huh. Thanks. I'm like across from her and I'm going, I'm saying my <laughs> uh -huh. beautiful woman is actress. And I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed. Oh, I got nervous. Wow. Right? I got to tell you. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. No. <laughs> she like, drinks, so she was fun. <laughs> Donna, what? Like, I got to be really professional. I got I to gotta do this. Oh, thing. you got to be. I, I got to know. I have to be professional now. I'm. That's you know. true. She had this huge, it's a huge monologue that I wrote for her and stuff. And there she is, you know, doing this in front of Kate. Yeah. Kim really and Kate. Brilliant. Brilliant. She did a great job. Okay. Yeah. Sure. It was great. It was great. Yeah. What the now? What, was fun. Donna? What is your biggest dream? Hmm. My biggest dream? Yeah. I would like to uh, do more, of course, mm -hmm. right. and choreograph some hmm. some uh, some wheelchair dances. Um, more of everything. More <laughs> dancing. More more choreographing. Just, uh, more working with people with disabilities. Right. Um, Getting into a network show is very difficult, as you know. Oh, yeah. So it was like when I met Peggy and she created this, and I was like, well, okay, this is, this is okay. I get, to, I get to do my thing, you know, too. And right. I'm not waiting for every single person to say, yeah, it's okay, Donna. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go right. ahead. So, oh, my God. But, yeah. Well, one thing I loved about it too, I mean, you've gotten so many awards, I mean, uh, including the Telly Awards, and also, was it the Cult Film Festival Award? Yeah, yeah, they have the cutest little, like, little, little cat thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so cute. Right, oh my God, yeah. because I, I was watching it and I was thinking of, you know, the 60s, the 70s, when, with, you know, Divine, uh, and right, the, right, 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 <laughs> and I was going, oh, this is great. <laughs> And Kate, Kate got a Telly Award as a producer as well as an actress. I love it. Uh, yes. And, um, it's a huge honor. It's a, it's a really huge honor. And for uh, more reasons than one, as my husband had received several, he had a company called American Medical Productions. Right. And this was before, uh, before the, you were allowed to have, doctors weren't allowed to have, now they can just advertise direct to consumer, right. you know, a certain medication. But back then they couldn't. So this company did that, you know, for doctors. They had uh, several of them, and uh, and so I I'm really anxious to like have mine right, and then he had and he had his. And so it was, it's really, and if it wasn't for Peggy and for Donna, you know, that wouldn't be happening so right. i'm truly honored we're honored to, to have you how, yeah. many, how many did your husband have oh my gosh he had so many i mean he had lots of them um do a count because we'll we'll even it out <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay well you know this was a question that came to my mind because this word came came up in in i believe the episode mama the mm. word inspiration yes for each of you Mm. What is the definition of inspiration? Oh, you want to go first? I'll give it a shot. Mm. Uh, whatever gets you off your ass, literally. Mm. Whatever gets you motivated to do something outside your comfort zone. Because it's very easy to just do what's easy. Right. You know? Like, it, it's easy for me to go to work on a sitcom or something and, and not do a lot, but to, to create something you know or, or it's one thing to write it it's another thing to direct it it's a, a whole other thing to produce and put it all together and try to get people on board with you and and all that so that she inspired me with her attitude mm. <laughs> I, and i don't mean her attitude i mean <laughs> <laughs> my, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> because a lot of people could be overwhelmed or or feel sorry for themselves or whatever and she just she literally keeps plugging i remember uh when, when we were back in the apartment there was one day i'd come home from work and i'm sitting on the couch and i'm just you know i'm going off with the world is so oh 
and she's just slowly, slowly moving toward. She's going to her wheelchair dancing classes. Right. And I'm saying, I'm just sitting here on the couch feeling bad, and you, you, you're gonna have trouble navigating the door, getting in and out. But you're going to wheelchair dancing class, and I'm like, that's that's fantastic. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Sure. Um. Things that inspire me. Um, my family inspires me. Mm. Uh, because they keep going no matter what. And they're the first people I see, you know, it's, it's when you're growing up. So, yeah. and, and all through your life. Yeah. So they inspire me. Um, oh gosh. I had several dance teachers that inspired me just because I looked at them dancing and I go, God, they're good. And I want to be like that. And so, um, something that puts a fire in you brings out the passion that's already there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just when you think of them, you keep going forward. Yeah, you keep going <laughs> forward. So, um, Peggy inspires me. Yeah. Uh, she she just keeps going through things and going forward. And no matter how much it takes, she just wants a a, a perfect, a, a really really quality product. Mm. That inspires me. Um, Kate inspires me. Yeah. She's been uh -huh. been doing this for so long, and she just keeps at it. Yeah. And um. Oh, and she's she's pleasant through it all. She's she's. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You know, with all the work that we were doing with our lines and things, and she was mm -hmm. like, "Okay, you want to go over it again?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." You yeah. know, but when someone gives you the uh the passion to keep going forward, to keep going over it, to keep working at it. Um, you just want to do that. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Kate? Uh, well, you, you know, I, um, there's so many people that have inspired me along the way. And, and of course, uh, Peggy and Don are definitely, you know, part of that group because, uh, you, you know, I mean, just, for people that don't even know them, if they were just meeting them right now, today, how can they, I mean, you look at them and, and hear them, how can they not inspire you? I mean, look what they, well, look what they do every day. Um, you know, my, my mom is 95 years old and she's, she's so amazing and she's, she still, uh, uh, you know, lives alone, does all these things. She played tennis up until a few years ago and um, all the time. Anyway, and, and their whole thing and was, uh, you know what? You just you just don't give up. Yeah. And I I call it, well for me it's um, I call it working the program. Mm. And the program for me is to just do what you do to the best you can do it. You don't look for the end result because if you're looking for the end, uh, whatever that happens to be, it seems to me that that you just push it away. You know, that. It's, it, that stuff comes to you. If you're doing what you do to the best that you can and don't ever, ever, ever give up. And, and that's what I um, like, because like I said, I'm celebrity spokesperson for the ALS Association. And there was a gentleman there that I met. He was an amazing guy. And, um, and he taught me something. And so I guess you could say he was big inspiration because for him, he would say, it doesn't matter how many breaths I take in this lifetime, but rather what I do with those breaths. And so for me, that's what I'm doing. You know, not giving up, not giving up like as far as ALS, because I know there's a cure out there. I know there is, and we can put people on the moon. We just, you know, we haven't found it yet. There's a cure for all these things. Yeah. We haven't found it, but we will yeah. if we just never give up. And just like in this business, I feel I take one step forward, five steps back, you know? Right. But if I'm working the program and keep working it, then that's what, that's what I do. So that's what it is all for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, it, uh, that it hit, hit me in that because a lot of times in an episode of mama about, you know, mm -hmm. what is inspiring and the definition of 
inspiration, but to hear it to what inspires each of you. I was talking to the director of Crip Camp the other day. Uh -huh. And um, I told him that, you know, I've been working on this documentary for I don't know how long. But mm. by seeing that film and seeing how the story goes and how they brought you in and you felt like you were part of the camp. You were felt like you were part of the, 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 the everybody going to Washington, you know, it, it, that inspires me to move forward with the project. And, and what you all said today, what you said, what, what Kate, what you said about you, we have to keep moving forward. Yeah. It's so true. And, um, and that's why it's Donna on the go. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Right, yeah, we plug that. And, that's, and I teased her about that. Actually, the day that you were going to that wheelchair dance class, and, you know, it, it takes a while to, to get going, you know? I mean, a person, like, I could go to the door in, like, 10 seconds. It would take her 10 minutes, if not longer. So I had teased her, oh, she's Donna on the go. <laughs> that's where that came from. <laughs> uh, well, thank you all for being here. Thank you for being the surprise guest. Yes, oh, my God. That was awesome. I love surprises. Thank you for including me. Oh, oh thank you, dude. Oh my God, my our, our pleasure. And, and everybody at Performing Arts Studio West and and Meet the Biz, you know. I, I, once we're out of quarantine, we yes. would love to all have you come and just visit for, you know, well, lunch. That would be great. I have to get a last minute bragging for Kate. Kate is nominated for an Indie Series Awards Aww. For, for our show. I yeah. love it. I love yeah. it. Congratulations. <laughs> Peggy, yes. thank you. And Donna, I love you. I love you too, David. And I want to say thank you to all the Donna on the go team. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, um, yeah that's what I mean. Takes everyone. Takes yeah. a vote, right? Takes a vote. And, and Craig Hutchinson, uh, one of our yeah. producers in New Zealand, who helps us. He's amazing too. Oh, wow. Got all over the globe. Yeah, yeah. We're a global show. 